what i would like to tell you is that let us discuss why angular first very important thing why you are learning what's that need that you need to know so what exactly you are going to achieve right that we will see first now i would like to ask some questions to all the participants available here right that what challenges do you face any challenges while developing the web apps now or what are your concerns or what do you think exactly what angular is so i i would like to know your thinking what exactly angular is you tell me what exactly angular is have you studied have you read somewhere and you might have got some conclusion in your mind angular is this thing what exactly angular is okay so front end development right one one says that it's a front end it's a client side okay so whatever you you say i'm going to write it it's client side okay again it is okay version of javascript okay i'll write it version of js well another thing okay it's a framework i can say okay anyone else what exactly it is it's a framework so your understandings about the angular what you have think angular is is this only five people can suggest only this many huh okay so i can say client and server interface client and server interface okay will you please elaborate this what exactly client and server interface is so means exactly what you want to say like a jquery you are saying there are some feasibilities angular framework has provided to work with the jquery something like dollar ajax that is nothing but the angular is okay and five people are here i will, i suppose Hundred suggestions would be should be on the board. Okay, so you are saying it's a single page application, SPA. And rapid application development. Okay, let me write it. Rapid application development. rapid app development see all these are your suggestions all these things are coming from your mind so this is angular and you are saying it's a front end you are saying it's a client side it's a version of js someone says it's a framework some says this some says this some says this anything else you would like to put here about angular that's it or do you think something else about angular so this 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 is what you know about the angular some of them correct some of them wrong so this is what you know about angular okay now let's start deep diving into the angular let us try to understand okay now here you can say very first thing for typing the code i am going to use one editor vs code remember that it's not a visual studio that heavier visual studio it's a vs code for whatever editor i am using here there is nothing but what vs code and i would like to start this intro with simple example program 
I would like to type some code here first, right? Let us see that what that code would be, right? And then we'll go to the needs of Angular. What exactly Angular is, why Angular is, and how Angular is, right? Then we will discuss. Now see, what I would be doing, let me create a simple HTML file. So here I can have say my demo is one folder I'm creating and into my demo I would be having one file I would be creating one file which is nothing but index.html what I would be creating index.html see I'm using VS code I have installed few plugins I have installed what few plugins and these plugins are giving you all these things immediately these are the plugins code is getting generated by means of what plugin so here you can say code cool angular code cool and what's that angular okay now a simple thing I want to achieve how many of you are familiar with this type of code Everyone has written a single HTML in throughout your programming journey, right? Now, my simple need is that what I want to do, if I click on one of the button, right? Some current date should be appearing over here. So I would be having one page division, right? Let me provide some ID to the page division. And you can say my DT data right and after that there would be one more page division and into that there would be one input box button value would be okay right simple HTML this is not angular or any framework a plain HTML we are trying to write nothing fancy in this okay so this thing you have written and provide the ID why to provide the ID can you please tell me okay BT okay you can say that would be the ID right now let's get how how this look like so let me some open it my demo and here you can say open with the chromium right can you see it's showing me the ok button and there is something but that is not available right now because there is nothing inside that simple thing we have created now you suggest me the code snippet please suggest me the code snippet to if I click on this it should show me the current date date how should I write the code script where after div here at the top okay so you are saying that you can write the script well why you need to write the script because HTML is a static whatever it once rendered that has been rendered that cannot be changed and for changing or making your HTML more and more dynamic you need one scripting language now you can go to the scratch pad and see this is your rendered HTML right once it has rendered the button it will never change again until you reload it once again by changing the source and reload until that is not going to be changed so you need someone so you need someone you need someone who can take care of dynamically updating this page and that someone is called as what js is a javascript is a scripting language that will do all these things right that you all are knowing just I have touched it revised it so what I'll do in this folder I can have new file app.js I have created one separate file and naming app.js and what app.js will do some code we are going to write okay now see what kind of code on the click of this button I need to add some what you can say I need to add some date kind of thing into this page division 
if you click on this button i need to add the date okay see how now on click is a event handler write the on click and here you can say data click or data clk on click and what we are going to write data clk now you go here and write a function called as function data or dt clk i think c is capital is remember that case sensitive c is capital so this function is going to be called let us try to have the console dot log this function is getting called or not let us see okay so clicked this is what i am doing clicked and what you can say let me go to the page refresh it right open the inspector and click on the okay you see dt clk is not a function something is missing for sure what's the missing can you tell me you have written the script right you have written the app.js but your html is not knowing what do you mean by app.js i don't know right so here i can write the script tag and source you can say app.js that's it after loading whole body please load app.js you are saying now refresh it and now click it can you see clicked is coming clicked is coming third time clicked is coming sixth time you have incorporated see the process you are doing this from last many years right and you need to suggest me the problems you are facing we are learning what is angular not this script this is simple script right okay now what i want to do if someone clicks on this button some data need to be added now see how do you do that here you have registered the dt click and what you will do document dot get element by id now what is document and what is get element by id document is the object where script is embedded that object you are getting and browser works in something called as dom parser document object model and that document is coming from that document the whole page document object is this document object you can get particular events that is nothing but the dom is now here you can provide my dt is a page division here you can say my dt you got it so here i can say where div dt is equals to this this is a page division right now i got the page division to that page division i need to assign some data div dt dot inner html is equals to right you need to assign date object dot to string or just date object inner html is nothing but what is equals to new date and see what will happen just refresh the code and see some date is coming your html became the dynamic first thing for making a dynamism you need to have what you can say the javascript and that's typically we did now if you scan this code you will get to know that there are multiple possibilities of doing this thing right some people have used this analogy some people can use another analogy now i'll delete it this right simple i have provided id some people go here directory where you can say bt okay is equals to document dot get element by id and you can say bt what okay this is a id remember that and then you can do bt okay dot on click another way right and then here itself you can write one function and in the function you can do what same code
assigning the event handlers from the script side so if you check this comment here you have assigned what event handler but here there is no event handler right now let's refresh the code same thing will happen again but this is coming from what this part of the code now third way see now so let me comment out this thing and you can have sorry this thing right input type button value okay id bt okay right now here i'll write a mix and match of above both here you can go right and here what i'm going to pass i'm going to pass this input i'm going to pass reference of my dt so i'm passing this reference to this function right and then i would be writing it is a mix and match for both right so here you are getting what my dt right and here you can say something like this my dt dot inner html so you have written the function here to that function you passed this object right and that object you are accessing here and let us try now refresh the code and see same thing now this approach is a mix of both writing a handler over there right getting the code or assigning the code from here so three things we have written for doing same job what we did exactly a simple script see three types of programmer will write code in this fashion absolutely three programmers would be writing code in this fashion i'll be back in a moment okay so we did simple thing like this now let us understand what exactly we did right and why it is so important to discuss these three methods right the first method because of the angular says i'll go to the angular 1 website right angular js just go to the angular js and here you can find something like this 